Laid back Mickey here. I want to tell you how to not get screwed when buying the used trike. And let's address the elephant in the room. This one's missing part of the seat. Stay tuned because at the end of this video, I'm going to check out trikes online to see if they're good deals or bad deals. There's a lot of used trikes out there. You could go to Craigslist, you maybe buy it on eBay, maybe somebody in the neighborhood has one. But before you buy a used trike, you kind of need to check it over or at least take it to a shop to have it checked over and kind of know that it could be a money pit. So the elephant in the room about this trike missing uh, the seat cover and here's the seat right here. Uh, this is a trike that we got in used. After we told them what the bill is going to be, they said, nah, you can have it. One, the crank was stuck and you couldn't move it. Two, the seat was broken. And this is like, this person is a second owner. Now, when you buy a trike, if you're the first owner, you get the advantage of your five or 10 year or lifetime warranty on the frame. So like, if this was somebody that, that owned this frame from the get-go with Terra Trike, their frame and their seat frame, it's covered for life. But if you're the second owner, it's not covered. And so on this frame here, this is broke. And usually why the seat gets broke is because it gets loose and they don't tighten it up and it wiggles, wiggle, wiggle until it gets broken. And so this seat is broken. And now you're talking a couple hundred bucks for a seat frame. You're talking labor. You're probably gonna have to replace the block the, that it mounts on. So you're talking another 50 bucks there. You could be an instant 400 bucks into fixing your seat. Well, now let's go back into the boom. The boom, it was pretty much almost felt like it was welded in the frame. It took us like an hour, hours labor, to get that out of the frame. And when we got it out, we had to hone or use a special sander to get all the corrosion out of the frame. So if there's water that is just kind of leaking down in there, it can corrode and make things not move. And that's the problem is, if a trike hasn't been regularly serviced, you're gonna have a lot of other problems. I remember like the Terra Trike Tour 2s that if you don't replace the brash bushings that they had, you know, about 10, 15 years ago, if you don't replace them, they wear the frame out. And that's not the manufacturer's fault. That's the, I'm not servicing my trike fault. So there's things that you wanna look at for, like if, like maybe you're buying a year or two old trike, that is a less likely to have a lot of problems than something that's five years old or 10 years old. You gotta know the age of the trike because the older it is, the harder it is to get parts for it. And also the more problems it could be, even if it hasn't been used a lot and it may still look shiny. The challenge with trikes is it could, if it's old, maybe there's no parts for it anymore. I have a beautiful 1997 Green Speed in my garage. I love that trike. It's a fast trike. It's custom. It was handmade in Australia. But the brakes are before they started to make them all the same, all the, all the bolt patterns the same. So in order for me to get new brakes for it, new disc brakes, I'd have to have them welded on. And so if you buy two of old of a trike, a lot of the stuff is outdated and you can't get it anymore. And so that's the challenge about buying a used trike. This is what I hear a lot. I hear, yeah, this trike, the guy barely ever, barely ever rode it. It's like brand, the tires look brand new and it just looks all shiny. Well, you know what the problem is with used tires? They can go bad just sitting the rubber gets old. And so if you don't use it, it's actually worse than riding on it. And so I'd rather have an old tire that's been ridden on than an old tire that hasn't been ridden on. And so if you have old tires, maybe the first thing you're gonna have to do is spend like 150 bucks or more on some tires. So you wanna be careful, right? It's sometimes you could pretty much invest in a used trike, the amount that you could buy a new trike for. If you want to see more recumbent trike videos, subscribe so you don't miss out. And so that's one thing. Also, you want to make sure that when you bring it in, that you have a full tune-up on it. Now, a brand new trike, they're already tuned. They just built it. It's perfect. But on used trikes, you want to check your chain because the chain could be stretched especially if they have a lot of miles on it. Or if it's rusted, you're gonna to have to replace it. And a, a trike chain is three times as long as a regular chain on a bike, so that means it's three times more costly. Now, it also takes three times longer to wear out, 
But if they weren't lubing it, or if they let it rest, so like maybe they're you know near a wet area, you know, like by the ocean, or maybe you're in Oregon or somewhere where it's really wet. If they let rust gets in there, it ruins your expensive chain. So there's a lot of things to look out for, and the things I'll go front to back. So we want to look at uh, are your gears uh, messed up? We want to look at your pedals. Do your pedals do they wiggle a lot, or 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 do they have a solid feel to them? Because I see some that like they're not supposed to spin because they're supposed to be lubed in here. A lot of them are sealed bearings, but a lot of them go bad if if they're worn or if they're not maintained properly. And then you want to check your chain. And then you want to check your hub mounts. Your hub mounts, like this one here, this one feels pretty solid, so not too shabby. So these hub mounts are good. And then you want to look at your brake. So on this one here, uh, this one had a tune-up. We already have our seat in. This is the old seat. Um, but this one had a tune-up, so it, the brakes are actually still good. But you know what, maybe you want a trike. Like these don't have locking brakes. So getting in and out, it'll roll around versus all the new trikes, they have locking brakes. And so you can lock it so it doesn't roll back and forth. So that's another feature is like when you buy an old trike, you're getting old technology. When you buy a new trike, you're getting the new technology or the things that they've had a lot of feedback from customers saying, we want this or we want that. And so locking brakes for years, I heard everybody like cat trike for years didn't have locking brakes. So if you're looking at a cat trike and it doesn't have locking brakes on it, it's probably an older model. Or if you're looking at any trike and they don't have locking brakes, it could be an older model because pretty much all manufacturers use a locking brake or some sort of locking brake. Like I know on ice, they use a separate locking brake now. And then you want to look at your seat. A lot of times you can't see these things like this, this, where the seat was broken, it was under a seat cover. So you couldn't have seen that. And so the person that bought this trike didn't see that it was broken. And so once they brought it in there, I don't want to, I don't want to put all this money into it because it needed a lot of stuff. Another thing is you want to look at your frame and you want to turn the trike over and make sure there's no stress marks because um, on, on different older models, maybe the seat, the, the welds, on the frame could have got cracked if it was, like if the trike said, we can handle 250 pounds, but there is a 300 plus pound rider on it. And let's say the, the frame from flexing so much finally got a stress crack. So those are the things that unless you're really looking closely, you could end up with a money pit or something that you're just gonna throw away. And I don't want you to spend 500 bucks or a thousand bucks or maybe a couple grand on something used that no longer is good anymore. All our used trikes, we go through front and back, like people will bring them in and then we'll restore them. We'll restore them, we'll fix them up, we'll put a guarantee on it. So we'll put like a 90 day guarantee that, hey, if anything goes wrong, bring it back and we'll replace it because we went through it with a fine tooth comb. And you should go through your used trike with a fine tooth comb if you're looking to buy one. And then on this one here, you wanna look at your back gearing, you wanna look at um, all your quick releases, you want to look at your accessories. So, you know, a lot of times they go, oh, these have lights on it. Well, the light technology of three to five years ago is nothing of the light technology today. The lights are a lot dimmer and could barely be seen in the daytime where the lights of today, like a 350 lumen tail light can be seen almost a mile away in the daytime. And so people are using their lights in the daytime as well as at nighttime. So a lot of people go, why should I get lights? I never use, use them. I don't go out at night. Well, you can now see them in the daytime because they're so bright. Uh, that with a flag and, and uh, maybe some other safety gear. Hey, a lot of times people say, hey, is this a good price for this trike? And I say this, maybe, maybe not. I'm not there to, to see it. This is how you can calculate if it's a good price. One, how old it is. So if it's over three years old, it's, it's pretty hard to calculate if it's a good deal or not. So anything bought in the last three years, actually, you know what, prices have gone up. So, you know, it could be a very good price if you're paying a percentage of what they bought it for. But if it's over, over three years old, you don't know all the, the damage or all the wear and tear that it has. And if it's past 10 years, then the, the price really drops fast. And so you kind of got to get it assessed by taking it to your local shop 
or maybe here. Just go ahead and look at new trikes and go, hey, here's how much new trike is. And if I were to invest $1,000 of repairs into this, am I still getting a good deal? So people go, well, how do I find a used trike? And there's a few different ways. You can go to Craigslist. And when you're looking on Craigslist, you just type in trikes. And then you can see all the different trikes. The biggest challenge with that, and, or maybe you're going on eBay doing the same thing, going on eBay, typing recumbent trikes. The biggest challenge with finding a trike online is that you don't know what year it is. And so you're going to have to trust that that really is the year that it is. So some people may go, oh, it's only a few years old. And I've seen people bring in a trike that's a few years old. And well, if a few years is 12, then it's only a few years. But most of the time, you, they can't accurately judge or it feels like a few years. So you want to be careful when, when you're doing that, and especially if you don't know. If you don't know, here's, here's one thing that you, on a cat trike, if the boom is black, uh, then it's probably within the last seven years. If it's a colored boom, so like if the, the frame is red and the boom is red, then it's an old boom. Same thing goes with uh, green speed. So if the boom on the front is black and, and the frame is a different color, you're probably within the last six, seven years. But if it's, um, if it's like a matching color of the frame, then you're probably a decade or older. So I kind of stare away from that if, if it were me because a lot of times you just can't get the parts for those anymore. A couple other places to get used strikes from is like Facebook Marketplace. You could go there. That's usually local. Like I'd rather buy local than buy like on eBay where it's somewhere else in the country and by the time you get it, you're all like, oh, it's missing parts or it's not what I thought or I never got to look at it. Buying local is always better. And also you could go to your local dealer. So whatever your local trike dealer is, at least you know a professional looked over the trike and say, hey, you ask these questions. Has the trike been tuned since you got it, right? Is there any problems with this trike that you know about? Do you have any guarantee on this trike? So if I take it and something breaks within the first week or month or, or two months, are you guys gonna warranty it? Are you guys gonna carry it, cover it? And usually those warranties are in-house. So like when we do our 90-day warranty, that's all done in-house because you don't get a manufacturer's warranty. It's, it's all local. I always recommend to buy from your local shop. One, you're supporting your local small business. Two, you're getting a better product that uh, somebody's gonna guarantee that you don't have a bunch of problems. Three, you're building community and you're meeting uh, your local shop and usually they have local shop rides, which is pretty cool. Now let's go ahead and look online and we'll find a few trikes and I'll say whether that's a good deal or a bad deal. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out some trikes online. So the first thing that we are gonna do is we're gonna come over here and we're gonna type in recumbent trikes. Uh, here is a Rover over here. Uh, this Rover, this one is a blue Rover. Let's, let's take a look at that one. Let's take a look at this one. So this one's 875. So this one here, uh, one, if we zoom in on this, it looks good from the get-go. What do we have with this one here? One, we, I can see over here that's an e internal hub. Because it's blue, I know that this is a newer model. The older models were silver. This one here, I can tell that it has BB7. So the brakes have been upgraded on this one here. This one here has one mirror and a tail light. Now this tail light's an old tail light. This mirror is kind of an oddball. Usually I use like a mirror, a mountain cycle mirror, which is a lot easier to adjust. It does have the locking brake mechanism on there. So I would say this one is probably anywhere from, they, they stopped making the Rover as, uh, as an advertised trike. I think they use that platform for their tandems. So this one's probably about four years or older, um, but it looks like they cleaned it up. Now this one's also using road cruiser tires. Not a lot of thorn protection in that one. I would definitely upgrade the tires into a Schwalbe Marathon. So for 875, not a bad deal. I mean, you can get a brand new Maverick, which is like this one here is using a three piece frame. So you got the back section is one piece. The middle section is another piece. 
and the front boom is a third piece. The new Maverick that replaced this um, is just a one piece for the rear frame and then the boom. And so the new design uh, I like a lot better. You don't have a lot of movement in the frame. So I don't know, 1500 bucks versus 900 bucks and you're getting a used model. I'd probably spend the extra money to get uh, a new Maverick. Let's check out something else. Uh, here's a Teartrike Rambler. So on this one here, this is the Rambler All-Terrain. So the new All-Terrain is, I call it like a forerunner, a Toyota forerunner uh, cream, like a sand desert, desert sandstorm. And so this one here, I think these were around 2,500 new, but this one has a motor. So I can see the motor right here. So it has a motor. I can tell now the motor is an older style because this here is the old display, which we haven't used in about four or five years. So this is at least five years old. So this one, uh, it's older. Now the problem is your, your batteries, the cycles are, it'll probably last for four to five years. Normally, sometimes you can get six years out of them until you gotta replace them. And batteries are gonna be 800 to thousand dollars depending on the battery. I'd probably at this point, it's not a bad deal, but for five grand, you can get a brand new Teratrike EVO that has the Bosch motor on it. So this one was great for its day, but you know what happens is a lot of times you buy a car and when you drive it off the lot, the value goes down instantly. That's just one of the things people go, yeah, uh, what am I gonna be able to sell it for in you know four or five years? Well, as long as you're getting good use out of it and it's helping you stay healthy, like who really cares about that? It's not about the resale value, it's about are you going to use it and are you getting great joy out of it? Okay, so we got some two wheel recumbents. Oh, we got a cool Velo Mobile for 13 grand. Uh, those are hard to come by, they're just fun. Not a daily driver. Here's a Green Speed GT26. Let's come check out that one. So, that one, you know, it's a cool trike and it looks pretty stock, pretty stock here. Schwalbe Kojak. So, they changed out the tires, maybe, maybe. And now, actually, you know what? I think about four years ago, this one came with the Kojaks. They're not coming with the, the 26 is not coming with the Kojaks anymore. So that's how I know it's a little older. So this was back before Green Speed was purchased by Wizwills, which also owns Teratrike. That one's gonna be a little older one. And the only way for you to know whether it's a good deal or not is to go ahead and take it to the shop. Cool trike though, folding trike. And you know what, when you when you get a used trike, you're usually not looking at multiple trikes because you're all, oh, I, you know, trikes can be expensive, so I'm gonna go try to buy used and save some money. Remember, buying a trike is not about saving money, it's about getting something that is comfortable ride, gives you back freedom to ride again, where you can ride and get exercise and enjoy your life and be healthy. A body in motion stays in motion. And so we want you to buy something that you're gonna love to ride. And so, yeah, maybe maybe this is a good one, maybe it's not. Maybe it's too high, too low. Maybe the steering is the right type of steering. This is uh, under seat uh, steering. Maybe you want direct steering versus indirect steering. It's better, from my opinion, to go into a shop that has many different models and try out a bunch of different models. We carry the four top brands uh, just so that you have a wide selection to choose from. If you like these videos and you wanna learn more about recumbent trikes, go ahead and download our free trike buying guide. It's in the description below.